We live in an increasingly multiracial society, yet in some respects the National Health Service has plenty of catching up to do. Most medical research tends to focus on the impact of disease and treatments on the white population. The biggest problem is that the ethnic minorities are underrepresented in clinical trials. The ethnic minorities account for about 10% of the UK population. In parts of the West Midlands, the figure is between 30 and 40%. And yet currently, in UK clinical trials, South Asians and Afro-Caribbeans in particular are underrepresented. Now a team based at Warwick Medical School is trying to address the issue. It's being led by the school's head of cancer trials, Professor Janet Dunn. A lot of the um, ethnicity coding is taken from the census information. Um, the government has now brought in some initiatives for general practitioners to record ethnicity data, but still this data hasn't been validated. Professor Dunn and her colleagues are looking at new ways of collecting data on ethnic minority patients. They're also using focus groups to find out why relatively few South Asian and Afro-Caribbean patients take part in clinical trials. Gulnaz Begum is one of the researchers. Her family originates from Pakistan, but she's lived all her life in Britain. Why are British Asians underrepresented in clinical trials at the moment? Partly because of a lack of awareness of clinical trials and what's at, what cancer research is going on at the moment. Um, and there seems to be a problem with um, research materials available in different languages. Um, so it's not as easy to pick up a patient information leaflet and find out about things that are going on if English isn't your first language. Sometimes they're not asked to participate due to current time constraints. Um, and other times, um, sometimes it's a, it's a guinea pig mentality. You don't want to be tested on. You, um, therefore, they don't take part in research. Some ethnic groups are more susceptible to certain diseases than others. There's a high incidence of prostate cancer, for instance, among the black community. Those of South Asian origin are especially prone to kidney disease. The Warwick research team is particularly investigating head, neck and lung cancer among British Asians. I think it's just the genetic makeup, but also some behavioural patterns. Um, we know that smoking is associated with um, certain cancers, such as head and neck and lung cancer, but also the, the sort of behaviour of smoking, the duration, the amount smoked, whether it's filtered, non-filtered, all that, that type of um, information needs to be gathered. The Warwick study is being funded by Cancer Research UK. The initial phase runs until June, but the research is expected to continue for some years to come.